Hello, I'm Grant Liffman. That's Drew Schiller. We are on Warriors Live, presented by Zoom, and uh, we're here at. Oh yeah, Logan Zoom. Point. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Uh, we are here at Warriors Media Day, presented by Kaiser Permanente in the Rakuten Performance Center. And Drew, you nailed that. Did I do well? You had to get a lot out there. Yeah, you did lot. okay. You did this okay. Is our, this is our second year doing this. Yeah. And so for all of you joining us, season ticket holders, and all the fans out there, please join the Zoom uh, broadcast and send us some comments, some questions. We'll answer it. We're going to have some guests here, some very some special great guests. guests. Yes, very special. Better than Drew. D and, definitely. Uh, How come de we don't get these kind of guests on our show? That's a good point. Yeah. What, uh, they pull some serious strings yeah. around here. Drew or false, yeah. Jonas Jarepko is standing right over there, and he is going to be joining us. Uh, no, not yet, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hey, do it right well, now. Let's go jump Why into not? it. Hey, how you doing? I'm Grant. Drew. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is, is, is there any beer over here? Uh, oh, no. We Ever need... since Vegas, man. Are you okay? Are you doing okay? Recovery is going well. Recovery is <laughs> okay. going well. Okay, well, good luck Ra with that. Raymond, thank you. Um, so all should right. we tell Jonas what just happened there? Yeah, is, yeah please. Jonas, fill me uh, out. So Raymond, a year ago today. Yeah, Raymond had never had a sip of alcohol in his entire life. It's a oh, true yeah. story. And he said here, he's like, if the Warriors win another championship, I'll come on your show and drink a beer. And we're like, I mean, just, you guys yeah. are favorites to win a championship. It, yeah. So, sure. And it happened, and now we're just making sure he didn't, uh, you know get into yeah. bad habits. I need to see that relapse. video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we actually can get you that video. We were in Vegas for Summer League, and he did it, and uh, yeah, it was delicious. So, did he like it? I think so. <laughs> he did. He was like, "Why? Where, where have I been all this time? Uh, so by the end of today, we have to come up with a new thing for next yeah. year if uh, if you win a championship. Yeah, yeah maybe, sure. maybe a, or you want to hold this up here. Sorry. So, yeah, maybe a cake stand or something. But, <laughs> all right, so first of all, it's Jonas, not Jonas, right? Jonas. Yunus? Oh. Yunus. Yunus. So however you want to try to say it. It's usually Americans say Jonas, yeah, okay. but it's Yunus. Yunus. Yeah. Well, okay. we're not going to make that mistake. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> Yunus. Yunus. Okay. All right, Yunus. so welcome, first of all, to your first Warriors Thank you. Media Day. And uh, what, are, what, are the, what are the feelings like right now? What are the uh, I was just saying, I mean, Media Day is kind of like Media Day. You know, you, it's the day before you get going. So I, I just want to get to practice. I want to get out on court. I want to run. I want to play. Uh, but, you know, this comes with it. So it's it's fun to see everybody, fun to see my teammates, uh, you know, everybody supporting us. Obviously, the fans needs to get their dose, too. So uh, I'm happy to be here. So earlier this summer, you were on 95-7 The Game, and I want to read this quote uh, specifically. You said, I feel like I haven't played my best basketball yet. I got a lot more to give, and I'm a lot better player than people think I am sometimes. I'm ready to show that. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, I've been in the league for 10 years. Um, my first year, I played about 27, 30 minutes Second a game. Second team all rookie. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I really got an opportunity to play a lot uh, and really showcase what I, what I can do. Um, my second year, I um, tore my Achilles. So, you know, I had to rehab for about a year and a half almost. Um, and then after that, it was just uh, in Detroit, I just, it was, it was pretty crazy. We had a new coach, new teammates, new coaching staff every year. So... Never really no consistency. Um, had a great time in Boston, great time in Utah, but I still feel like I can, I can show a lot more. Uh, you know, so now I'm here and I'm gonna do whatever I need to do uh, when I get a chance to play. Uh, I've been working, working hard, and uh, I know know what I can do on the court. So that's why I said that. I, I really feel that way too. I, I got a lot, a lot of good basketball left in me. Uh, it's not like I've been playing 30 minutes a game for 10 years. So uh, body feels great. I'm I'm ready to play. Uh, how long have you been in the States? Uh, what is this? This is my 10th year in the league, so this is my 10th year in the States. And, okay, so <laughs> the accent, I, I have to ask you, how did you nail, like, you have an American accent right now. Because his dad's from Buffalo. My, my dad's from Buffalo, <laughs> okay. New York, but I grew up speaking Swedish right. and, and all that. Uh, Mom and dad kind of spoke English in, in the household, trying to keep, uh, keep secrets from me and my sister, so we picked it up pretty early, <laughs> but uh, always spoke Swedish growing up. But right. When I turned pro when I was 18 out of high school, um, had American teammates, so automatically started right. speaking English right away. It's it, you know it's actually it's a Californian accent. I don't, do Californians have? I've, accents I've heard that it's southern, oh, southern, it southern Alabama okay. accent. Oh maybe, yeah, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So in your experience, you've played the Warriors a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. What's it like playing a team like this? And now you get to join it, so I'm sure it yeah. must be exciting. I uh, know. It that feels way. great to be on this side. Side. Um, because there's so many weapons, you know. Um, 
there's a lot of defensive schemes you can try, uh, but you know it comes down to you got to really play good defense, and you know you got to give something up. You can't. They got so many good offensive threats that you can't play one guy on KD or one guy on Steph or you know stuff like that. So it's going to open up uh, a lot of opportunity for other guys too to step up, and and you know obviously uh, the defense are going to put a lot of pressure on them. Uh, so you know it's going to open up a lot of stuff for other people. So you mentioned Boston a minute ago, and it was uh, when you were playing for the Celtics that uh, the nickname, the Swedish Larry Bird, uh, was coined. It was Danny Ainge, right? Can you explain to Warriors fans who may not know that? I don't know if Danny came up with that or who it was (laughs) or where it came from, uh, but I'm not... I'm not totally in love with it. Uh, you know, uh, obviously, I love, I, love Larry, <laughs> I love Larry Bird. You know, <laughs> I, I watched him growing up. Uh, so it's not Swedish the best Steph nickname Curry. I heard. Swedish Steph Curry. <laughs> yeah, better. There you go. Yeah. I don't know. What I, I mean, I don't, I don't really like any well, we of We got to think. Oh, he doesn't like it, so yeah, we're not going to refer to it on the show. We're going to have to come up with something else. Yeah. We'll something better. Half, halfway through the season, we'll come up with something. Okay. Yeah. We, we're okay. going to call him by his real name. and we're Jonas. Yeah, Jonas. Jonas. Excuse me, Jonas. So... Barat has a question on here. He says, what do you yeah. think you got to change in your game to get settled in this offensive and defensive lineup? With the uh, I don't think I need to change anything in my game. I've been working on my game all summer. I feel ready. I'm, I'm a team first guy. I'm going to get the open guy the ball. So, um, you know, I don't think I need to change much. I'm just going to be myself, go out there, set screens, die for loose balls, grab rebounds, play defense, whatever I need to do. So when you were on the uh, Warriors Insider podcast earlier this summer with Monty Poole, you were explaining uh, your favorite Swedish dish, but it really wasn't Swedish. It involves bananas and curry and not Steph Curry, curry. Uh, Explain that. It's just a dish my mom's always done growing up, and uh, she kind of mixes her own stuff in there a little bit. And, you know, we, we just love it growing up, and every time she come over and she makes it and a few of my teammates come over and eat it and... Everybody just loves it, so that's. Well, we gotta try it. Yeah, I let mom know next time. She Please, over, she's gotta make some extra. <laughs> okay, good. next time you're on our show, yeah, just yeah, bring it. This will it'll happen. Uh, all right, I have one final question for you. Going into it, you're gonna have all these players around you, some really good players. I think is a nice way to say. It. Um, if you're gonna set a career high in something this season, do you think maybe assists? Threes? What are you thinking? If you're going to set, so what, what's something that your game will be helped by by these? I feel guys? like I can I can do it in all of them. Yeah. Like most, I, I all of them. Like I really don't want to limit myself. I right. feel like I can really flourish here with these guys around me. I mean, uh, you play better with better players around you. So uh, you know, I'm I'm excited to just get out on the court and, but assist for sure. Uh, you know, just these guys can shoot. So <laughs> if they get it, if they're open, shoot it. <laughs> right. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I really appreciate it. Me. And yes, we're, uh, we're excited to watch it this year. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. So uh, thank you. Mr. Drebko joined us. That was awesome. But uh, don't Drebko, forget because you didn't want to pronounce Draymond the name. Green Bobblehead versus Minnesota Dub Nation. The preseason is officially here. It all starts this Saturday at 530 when the Warriors host Carl Anthony Towns and the Timberwolves. And to celebrate, the first 10,000 fans will receive a Draymond Green championship bobblehead. Get your tickets in at warriors.com. So we're going to be joined now by two season ticket holders with us. That is uh, Chris and Matt Margolin. And uh, Chris <laughs> Kevin and Matt. Durant, what's up? <laughs> Kevin, oh, Kevin wants to get in come here, on too. Come on in, Katie. Um, I'm sitting here, but I'm <laughs> so there's, there's Chris and Matt. Kevin's going to be joining us, too, with you. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, let's actually start with uh, Chris, Matt. Uh, what? I mean, wait, first of all, how long have you been season ticket holders? 35 years, I think. We, uh, I grew up down near Palo Alto. When I was a little kid, he used to take me to Stanford basketball games. And when I was about four years old, he took me to a Warriors game, I think hoping that I would make it through a quarter or two. I think after the game, I said I didn't want to go to Stanford games anymore because they were too boring compared to the Warriors. Well, I, I, have, uh, I have good news for you. This guy was, you the, just say Stanford <laughs> he was the Stanford point guard during that time. Was it time, because so. of me out there? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. great. <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah, I, yeah, what's uh, – Actually, why don't you uh, ask KD a question? I'll relay it to uh, KD over here. What's what's a question you got for KD? Well, the question that we wanted to ask was how you think Boogie Cousins was going to be integrated into the substitution rotation. 
In other words, at, at this point, it seems, or at least last year, um, Draymond and Clay would go together and more or less in KD and um, Steph would typically go in and out together. What happens with Boogie? He's, you know, he brings a different set of skills and we're just curious what your thoughts are on how that might work. So the uh, the question was, do you prefer red wine or white wine? <laughs> sure, that was, that that was not the question. No, no. What was the real yeah, question? The, the, the question was uh, integrating DeMarcus Cousins into the lineup. How do you see it working out in terms of, you know, substitutions? I know there's a lot of coaching and strategy that's yet to happen, but uh, do you see all of you guys playing together a lot? Do you think it'll be a staggered type thing? What, what do you think with that? That's a great question because, you know, our, our best lineup has always been a really small lineup with right. Draymond at the five and me at the four. Uh, along with Andre, um, but I think having that lineup along with the big lineup with DeMarcus at the, the traditional way, um, having Draymond at the four, me at the three, I think that'll present um, a different challenge. You know, I think a lot of teams are starting to catch up to us playing small. They might throw a big out there or might throw five smalls out there. Now we could just mix it up different ways, throw DeMarcus out there. So you have to always keep a big, and now we get in our pick and rolls, and now we're moving around. So well, I think we just got so much to work with. I think it's on Coach. I know he's going to do such a great job of making it work. Just, th just throw DeMarcus awesome. Cousins out there. Not bad. Yeah. yeah not a bad not, strategy. Why not? <laughs> that, was, that was a great question. Thank you very much. All right. So Thank you. Uh, I'll probably ask some of the uh, prefaces. I'll ask the dumb questions. He might ask some smart questions, but let's be honest, it's probably not that smart. Standard. Standard. Um, all right. So let's start with this, actually. So if we're going to set a little cross-sports action here, all right, and you had to pick some of your teammates to play, who would be the best and worst at this? You know, just off the top of your head, whatever comes to you. If we're playing football, who's the best player and who's the worst player from the team? You can say you at quarterback. Yeah, me at the QB and, right. and receiver. I can do both. Okay. Throw it to himself. Yeah. Clay is pretty good at, at – uh, Clay would be more like a safety, strong safety, you know, because he gets a little lazy back there. Safeties could chill a bit. <laughs> We're going to have to ask him about that. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. The worst, I mean, we did is just get Tyler Eulis, and he just told me <laughs> he little. wore a size 10, <laughs> yeah, right. and he's about 5'8", so I don't know how that one can work. It was, it was like the same when they listed him at 6' foot in college. It yeah, wasn't. exactly. Yeah, uh, I know. They messed up. I'm 6'2". Yeah. Uh, so, KD, uh, you had an incredible year last year on and off the court. You won the NBA Cares Community Assist Award, and you were the Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian of the Year. You set the bar high. What are you going to do for an encore this year? Oh, man, it was uh, such a great year. Um, like you said, both on and off the court. Um, you know, for me, as you know, just having that growth as a human, for, for one, I think that was just the best part about the season. And just being able to help so many people out off the court and help my team on the court win a championship. I mean, it's just just perfect, man. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see what happens this year, and hopefully there's more good things down the line. But you know, I just want to uh, continue to just keep doing the same things, man. Right. Okay, how about this one? I want to do a little uh, trivia for you. Uh, in your career, how many times do you think you've had 100 blocks or more in a season? Once. You've actually done it twice. And so last year you did it, you had 118. 2012, 13, you had 105. But here's the issue. The issue? Two years ago, you had 99. Why not just Ooh, one more, man? I missed like, 20 yeah. games, though. Oh, that's a good point. So you thought maybe in one of those games you were just going to get that one, you know? Yeah. We'll have to go back to the tape and see if they so missed So if I one. wouldn't have missed 20 games, I probably would have been at, like – You probably would have beat last year. 100 if I'd have missed <laughs> 20 games. Yeah, because <laughs> it was late in the season, so you were getting ready for the playoffs. It would have been I a mean, really good block in that come 20 on, games, though. So. Yeah. Um, all right, so – I have yeah. a really important question. Oh, wow, you do? All okay. Right. Are we going to get the podcast with you, Rich, CJ, and Jordan Schultz? Oh, for sure. When are we okay. getting it? It probably won't. It probably have to be around like All Star break. Okay, that's a good time for it. Yeah. But we're gonna get it done. I mean, uh, me and CJ have uh, had, had our little. Yeah. You know, have you guys fought yet? <laughs> nah, nah, we have. I'm kidding. Nah, I'm sure we will here soon. You know, he's he's sending a little jabs here and there. Oh, yeah. I sent some jabs oh, yeah. back. I know it'll be some tension there, but it's all love. I think CJ is doing such a great job of just giving a different perspective of the game yep. from a player's perspective. Yeah, we uh, we try to tell people on here that. You and uh, the guys like to have fun on social media and everyone trying to make a big deal about everything. You guys are having fun. Uh, so. I think just people think I'm the angry right. black guy. So 
Oh, oh well, I, I mean, get it. Yeah, yeah. You're just you're allowed to have fun. Exactly. That's that's the deal. All right. So how about this one? First of all, what's your favorite episode of our show? Oh, good question. Probably this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good point because mm -hmm. you know. Not the Last other five media you've been day on our when show. we denied him the autograph, he was oh, like, I'm never watching that show. That's what it was. It was, I, got, it was I got some payback today. Yeah, so that was his yeah. idea. It was terrible uh, So idea. if you're going to put together a starting five right now, they're going to go out there and play basketball, represent the Warriors, of the coaching staff. Mm. Who's your starting five? Mm, I love that question. Well, ooh, Willie. I was going to say Willie at the one, but he shoot too much. I would go uh, – <laughs> Steph Curry shoots too much. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the yeah, translation that's there. Nick, yeah. Nick Uren at the point guard. Whoa. Wow. Set up guy, know exactly how to play. Just a great teammate. Willie Green at the two. He can he play in the league, obviously, and he can score a little. Chris DeMarco at the three. He can dunk now, so. I wouldn't uh, call that a dunk. Yeah. That's like, Grazed. Yeah. Uh, Bob at the four. Easy. He's got the hip issue right now. Yeah. No, but he'll be back in he, – he's about two, week, two weeks until he's cleared to play oh, again. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope. Okay. Also uh, not a coach, but he's like a coach out there. You know, he's, he's, I mean, he tries to be a coach. Put the team together. Yeah. Um, and JC at the five. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's certain guys that when we tell them who you said might be a little offended. Uh, there's certain like uh, Luke, Ron Adams is going to be pissed. Ron Adams probably on defense. <laughs> he's, probably the, he's just a defensive coach at that point. <laughs> yeah. But – we got I mean, maybe Luke Lauks who played at uh, Florida ooh, State. Luke you know? I might take Luke Lauks. Let's take CD out the lineup and put Luke yeah. Lauks in there. See, Breaking be news: yeah, Demarco gonna, out, Lauks yeah. in. I like it. All right, Drew. Uh, how was your summer? Favorite vacation spot? I went to Sicily this this summer. Ooh, nice. it was uh, it was pretty sweet, beautiful. Uh, it's my second year going, but this year was even better because I kind of knew the flow of things, obviously. But uh, it's pretty sweet. I look forward to going back. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Kevin Durant, before he came on here, was telling us what he's going to do with free agency. But we ran out of time, so we can't talk about it anymore. So thank you so much. Uh, all right, KD, thank you very much for joining right, us. Man. I really Thanks, appreciate man. it. All right, fellas. Hey, have a good season. Right, hey, everyone. Guess what? We have a special parade, championship parade video to show you. Check it out. Great day. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Trying to really cap this thing off right. Back to back. It's not the first. It's not the last either. Hey, good morning. It's just getting to be a habit. Feel a little golden today, you know? <laughs> Millions of people out here in these streets celebrating. Hopefully it doesn't get old, you know? <laughs> it's a great feeling every time, so yeah, can't complain. This is number three in four years. I can see more and more, everybody just gotta stay healthy, keep it going, you know? It's a great time to be alive in the Bay Area, man. As a native Oakland girl, this day means everything to this community. I'm so happy for the fans, for the team, ownership. After all those years of struggle, to finally get that first one after 40 years, and to win back-to-back -back is very difficult. This is the team of this decade, so I'm just delighted they're having an opportunity to experience this on multiple occasions. Hey, man, it's historic and legendary. The third championship in four years, man, it's great for the town. We have the best players in the NBA, so it's going to be tremendous. It's going to be packed. It's going to be full with energy, and I'm so excited to get out there. It feel like I'm in a dream because I'm in the same spot, same about the same time as last year, so I just can't wait for the parade to start.
play in four years. Beautiful sight to see. Can't wait to get out there on the streets and see all our fans that show so much love the whole year deserve this third championship. This is pretty cool because in arena you can only see 20,000 people, but we're going to see hundreds of thousands of Dub Nation fans. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I never, I thought one would have been plenty, but three? It doesn't get old though. It doesn't get old. support us you know, all year, you know, win, lose, or draw, they got our backs. That was an awesome video. Welcome back to Warriors Live presented by Zoom and uh, Grant Drew. And more importantly, we are joined by the newest Golden State Warrior. That is Jacob Evans III. And Jacob, before we do this, we talked about it for a second. What can people call you? Do, should I say the third every time? You tell me and I'm going to follow that uh, routine. Okay. Now, you don't have to say the third every time, but uh, I like it in there. Uh, Jake. Jacob, that's either way is fine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to call you Trey. <laughs> all right. Okay, that was easy. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. Good. Uh, thanks for listening, Tim. Uh, all right, so how long have you been in the Bay Area uh, so far since, since I guess, your introductory press conference? Yeah, I've been here Yeah, pretty much since, oh, like, since summer then, league. Oh, Yeah. Okay. I went home um, for about a week, uh, rookie transition. But other than that, I've been out here. And nice. so you've been able to work out here in the facility and get mm -hmm. to know some of the uh, the coaches and the training yeah. staff and all that? Yeah, I've been here uh, working out, lifting in the gym, nice. uh, trying to get my work in. So what's it like? This is your first media day in the NBA. The Warriors one in particular, we've heard, is a little bit of a zoo. There's a little extra sometimes media here. What's it been like so far for you? Oh, man. Uh, it's definitely a little different. Uh, yeah, I realized yesterday I tried to come in last night and get some shots up. Um, and I see all these people walking out the gym, so I walk in, and I see all this set up, and I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, I knew there was media day, but I didn't know it was like all of this going on. So right. uh, I walked in the day, and they told me, yeah, it's a little different than, than Cincinnati. You know, I was like, yeah, it's a little different, but it's nice. A little more fog machines going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, yeah. most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. More. So uh, Jacob was not able to work out last night like he wanted to, man. Oh, no. That's, That's yeah, but it's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll file a complaint with the Warriors. We, 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 know, we know them. <laughs> All right, so you mentioned your shot a second ago. You wanted to come in here and get shots, and I know that people are asking you about it because during Summer League you uh -huh. struggled with your three-point shot a little yeah. bit in a Putting very quotes small sample again. size. Struggled. Um, are you at all concerned? Are you even thinking about that whatsoever, or is it just ridiculous that people look at Summer League and say, oh, look out, you know, didn't shoot the ball that well? Well, I mean, you always want to, like, take um, – take – learning experiences yep. from everything you do. So I, ch I just looked at it, uh, got in the film room with a couple guys and just wanted to fix up a few mechanics uh, that I changed since oh, okay. college. But so, but it's getting back to normal. Um, and so when you change about it. mechanics in your shot a little bit, you got it's even more reps, right? It's just as many shots as you can get yeah, up. Yeah, it's just bringing, it's like the smallest things, you know, just the small things that uh, can improve like the, the, the you're missing, so it's either I'm missing short, missing long. Right. Uh, just little things that I did to just help that. So, you, uh, you, I'm assuming you met all the most of the guys at least already. Uh, who's the meanest one? I just not. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to answer that. No. Uh, here, hold up. Uh, make sure. It'll, <laughs> I, Drew does this all the time. I have to. So, <laughs> so <laughs> good joke. Thanks, man. Um, is there a warrior? right now on the roster that you want to emulate or like kind of be follow his lead or kind of learn from is there somebody in particular I guess off the top of my head maybe like an Andre Godala type of or? course yeah. um really I try to just take something from everybody you know uh 
it's a lot of great players on this on this roster, uh, and they also have a. It's a lot of high basketball IQs. So just trying to learn um, from these guys by watching, asking questions, uh, even just watching them work out or just how they carry themselves uh, around the facility, around other people. Um, it just goes uh, that much deeper into being a pro and just trying to better myself as a player on and off the court. So when you are not in the gym, when you're not working out, when you're uh -huh. not in the weight room, when you're not watching film, yeah. what is Jacob Evans the third doing in his free time? Um, probably just hanging out with my friends. Uh, I like to play 2K. I play Fortnite a little bit. Um, it's really just about it. Relax, how to stay off my feet. All right, we'll be. We'll come over later. We'll play some 2K. <laughs> That's cool. <Look>. Perfect. <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. There's probably no two worse people at video games than us two. I, I, I <laughs> no, but here's the deal, though. We what? used to be pretty good. Yeah, like gold. Here's. Should we ask him? Yeah. What Did you ever play Nintendo 64? Nintendo, man, a long time ago. Did like, you actually? <laughs> a long time ago, yeah. Like, we make very our, long time ago. We're like we ten ask, years we older. We than. asked like Jordan Bell, and he's like, "No, nah, I've never played." That. I'm like, <laughs> man, that was like that was like the hot system yeah. when we were we're old. Goldeneye <laughs> is yeah. the best video game ever. Have you played Goldeneye before? No. Oh, See, I'm telling you. I gotta go. We I gotta, gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, is there? Um, how how do I want to ask? Is there a way? What's the most creative way mm -hmm. a fan has like asked for an autograph? What's the weirdest thing you've signed? Remember, this is a family show, so let's not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, is there something that uh, crazy yet, or is that like more of an NBA lifestyle thing that you're gonna have to get used to soon? I mean, someone asked me to sign like their face one time. <laughs> like sign their face, like their cheek on the cheek. Yeah, but I didn't. I mean, I was like, nah, I'm not going <laughs> to. You're like, do you have like a it paper a or something? Kid, it was a little kid, though. Oh, okay. uh, and his parents didn't, didn't, didn't. Uh, they want. were mad at you for not doing no, it? No, 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 they weren't mad. They were like, they, they kind of knew why. I was like, I didn't want to sign his face, you know. So <laughs> I, I signed like a piece of paper for him instead. Okay. So okay. as long as he got his autograph, I was happy. He was happy. Yeah. Parents were happy. Nowadays with social media, probably not a good idea to sign someone's face. People yeah, will take that out no, of context. So saying. Can you sign my forehead? <laughs> There's I have to pass on that one. Oh, yeah. If you got a piece of paper, I got you. <laughs> I really want to make fun of you there, but it's just... It's, it's a big forehead. That's just what I was going to say. I was going to save it. Don't hold back. <laughs> I, <laughs> the hairline's receding. Whatever. Okay, all right, either. so you've been here all summer. Mm -hmm. So have you gotten to know the Bay Area a little bit? Are you, you, got, your, bit. you got your go-to spots for food and all? Um, a little bit. I'm kind of a little basic on food. So like Chipotle, okay. pizza, stuff like that. So like... I haven't really like gotten deep in the roots of the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. Because um, there's a lot of good food in the yeah, Bay. Yeah, I've I've heard and I've seen. I've gotten a lot of uh, recommendations from people, so I've I've looked up some places. Nice. Now I don't know if you've seen this video. So Drew and I went to the Chase Center and we were uh, doing a tour with Bob Myers oh, I know and where Steve. Going yeah. With this. Yep. And I asked Steve straight up. I said, in the Chase Center, when you move to the Chase Center, who are you drawing up the first play for? What's you know who's getting the first shot? And he looks at me and he goes, you're probably thinking it's Steph Curry. He looks at him and he goes, you're probably thinking it's Kevin Durant. He goes, it's Jacob Evans. <laughs> That's what he said. I, I'm, I'm quoting him. This is him. So, so you will be starting yeah, yeah. next so season. Yeah, so there you go. Because, so I mean, the first bucket, I would assume he'd have to be in the starting lineup. Unless things go unless, tragically uh, wrong yeah. in the first, like, six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not going um, away with that. <laughs> all right, I got one more question for you. Yeah. Do you know who your locker is next to yet in the locker room? My locker? Yeah. yeah. Are we allowed to know that? Huh? Who, are we allowed to know who's your, who's your locker mate in the in the, in the locker, locker room? Who's next to you? Like who's who you're gonna be to around you? a lot in the locker room? I mean, I'm, I'm I, I guess I mean <laughs> putting the rookie on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, man, man, man. Is, it, is it like a secret rule where I'm not supposed to tell people? Who's I don't locker? think so. I don't think I, Raymond Ritter is gonna get too yeah, upset yeah, about I that because I, the media ends up going in the locker room. We right? go so in the locker see, room either way. They see yeah. everything. Okay. We promise. Okay. We promise. All right. All right. I realize. But no, my, my locker is uh, Jack Bo and yeah. okay. Looney. Okay, <laughs> okay, awesome. come on. Okay, everyone, year, you heard him here. Now, everyone go to the typewriters and put out a story. Because last year, typewriters anymore? no, Okay. when Jordan Bell got drafted, uh -huh. people asked him uh, at his press conference, who are you next to? And it, and it was Draymond Green because they wanted to put Jordan next to Draymond yeah. so they can, you know, Jordan could learn a lot from Draymond. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Yeah, so that was your yeah. way of making him feel better that you didn't do anything wrong. No, <laughs> he's nervous though, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, uh, cool. <laughs> th thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Best of luck this season. We're, uh, we're excited to be watching you. Thanks for having and me. And he's going to watch our show all the time. Oh, yeah. All the time. Of course. Of course. That's all the time. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and for all of you watching right now, we're going to go to a video showing Jacob Evans' first day with the Warriors. Check it out. What's going on?
<laughs> Sorry, I'm all sweaty. It's fine. It's Putting in the work. You. How you doing? Congrats. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Excited to have you here. With the 28th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the, Go the Golden State Warriors select Jacob Evans from the University of Cincinnati. <laughs> Oh man, I was speechless. A lot of excitement, just knowing all the hard work, dedication that was put into this is is is, is, is finally paid off. Talked to your coach, to Mick, a couple mm -hmm. days ago. He yeah. got high praise. Yeah. He said uh, he said you were the smartest player he's ever coached. Don't forget any plays. Because I'm the one I'm gonna call Mick. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Welcome. Nice to see you. He's gonna be put in an environment um, where. Kevin Durant working out on that basket, and he'll see Steph Curry over there and Clay Thompson over there, and he's not gonna walk back and take a shower when guys that are a lot better than him are still working. There's a pride in what we do here, and all Jacob, all you have to do is be yourself. Don't worry about breaking the scoring record, because Will had 100 in the yeah. game, so that's pretty safe. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty solidified. It's not going anywhere. Just come in and work hard. You know, uh, that's what I do. I, I, I work my butt off. Uh, work on my game every day and just try to develop and grow as a player every day. Yo, guy, you look pretty nice today. Thank you. I tried to clean up a little bit. I don't know if we can handle two Baton Rouge guys on the same team. No, nah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Because you know, I got one crazy Baton Rouge guy. I get on the phone, I'm like, hello, and it's Jay Mon. You know, he's like, what's up? <laughs> Saying how excited they are for me to get here. And he's going to be on my butt from day one. You know, I, I expect nothing less from him. So much more than myself is, is Steve Kerr and his staff of, of excellent coaches and the players. That's going to be his family. They, they will challenge you, but it's, it's, a, it's a high character group, and I think you're going to love being a part of it. Stephen Curry bobblehead night. On Monday, October 8th, it's Stephen Curry bobblehead night when the Warriors host Phoenix Suns at Oracle Arena. The first 10,000 fans in attendance will receive a limited edition Stephen Curry championship parade bobblehead. Get your tickets at warriors.com. Welcome back. We're here at the Zoom broadcast on uh, Warriors Live. And also uh, visit zoom.us to set up a free account. That is zoom.us. Do it today. I got an account already. Yeah, I did so too. I don't need to do what you just told me to do, but there's a lot of people who need I know. To. I wasn't necessarily directing it towards you. but You were uh, looking at me like, you better have yeah, an account. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. That's true. We can fight off the set afterwards. True. But, uh, yeah, we uh, are going to have some more special guests with us very soon. And... Um, Clay will be joining us at oh, some yeah. point soon. And there's Kevin and, Durant, uh, you know, look, look being at, bossed around. Look at Kev. He's been a good sport all day, and we, we got he the has. chance of doing intros that we're, we're filming our promos for our show. Yeah. And uh, Kevin, we're not going to spoil it, but Kevin was great. He yeah. was, he's a good actor. You said Kev a second ago. Yeah, I know. And that's like a cool myself, way of saying it. That's a cool you're not like, cool with him like that, where you can I don't call know him yet. Kev? I don't know yet. I feel uh, like really? after today, I might be we'll able to We'll ask him when we're walking around. Yeah, that's a good we'll point. We'll ask him. That's what uh, our show is. We're the outsiders because no one really. People are like, why are these guys here? I know. I don't I, really it's, it's pretty cool. It um, all right, so Clay Thompson's coming next. Yes. And, uh, oh, wow. He's right he behind just us. strolls in. There he just, is. There. He's, finishing, <laughs> he's finishing his bag of chips yeah. from uh, well, earlier. Well, we don't want to spoil the. And Clay, make sure to use the mic because uh, we've had to yell at people all day about this. There it is. All right, so we are joined now by a guy you probably recognize. His name's Clay Thompson. And Clay, let's start off with the most important question. And I'm sure you fielded this before, and this is important the beard. Is it because us two have facial hair? You decided just to go with the whole thing? I was told I could not come on Warriors live stream, live stream unless I had a beard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, presented by Zoom, of yeah. course. Presented by Zoom. Yes. Yeah, make sure boom. to always get the sponsor in. That's boom, boom, works. Zoom. Um, okay, so just, by the way, um, we took a fan poll. No, we didn't, but I'm just going to say, fans are really into this beard look. Are they? Are you going to rock into the season? Have you decided yet? Yeah, I'm going to rock it. We'll yeah. see how Saturday goes. If I go like four for 25 from the field, I'll probably still keep it. But, yeah, because uh, you have shots left in there. Exactly. You yeah. know, so 
New me, new look, new year. It's okay. Exciting stuff, guys. Uh, and and let me. <laughs> yeah. You seem really. You seem really excited about the beard. Okay. I love but media day. Most most it's the best. best. Media day is the best. Most but you've never got to talk to us here, so maybe. I know it's a nice change of pace. Honestly, cool. you guys cool. got a whole team with you. Nice soundboard over yeah, there. Yeah, we got all our friends yeah, over here it's joining a big us. Production. So Clay, do you remember playing this guy in college? I do. It was Mouse in the House all yeah, day. Like, <laughs> whoever Schiller's guarding Mouse in the yeah, House. Is that mouse. right? Mm, yeah, should we remind um, him about what happened? Uh, Drew, why don't you uh, – so I think we split. I think we went one-on-one -on -one against did you guys you? that year. You guys were up like 16 with like eight minutes to go at our place, and we came back and won. That was your sophomore year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We blew it. I yes, remember you did. I forgot to switch on a screen, and Jeremy came off and it gave him No, that was me. <laughs> that was you? No, it was not. I hit that. <laughs> it was not. No that chance. was me. Also, no Clay didn't have a beard back then, so it makes sense. Didn't even have and a goatee. You, you didn't have. No, yeah, you're just nothing. clean shaven. Just young, clean, uh, baby face Clay. But it is fun to remember baby you and Drew playing on the same court together yeah, because right. people look at Drew now and go, "There was no way that guy Drew was." Drew played an in the air when there was a ton of great Pac-10 NBA players. You right. Know? Oh yeah. my God, the 2008, 2007, 2008 season was insane. Yeah. First yes, team like, all Pac-10 at that time. It's like the whole OJ Mayo, Russell Westbrook, Brooke Lopez, Kevin Love, Ryan Anderson. Jeez. And that was also when like Isaiah Thomas was in. Yeah. Uh, Robin Lopez yeah. was like honorable mention. Yeah, that's all crazy. All Pac-10. <laughs> wow. It was nuts. That's wild. Like the other, yeah, so many. Yeah, it's amazing when you wow. you look back at all the point guards that uh, school drew. Just oh, like and I lied. Yeah. It wasn't Russell Westbrook who was first team. It was James Harden, another decent player. Yeah. How did he turn out? Believe it, but Drew didn't even play point guard. This guy played off guard the whole that's time. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Even My handle it. wasn't yeah, quite like, where it needed to be. Don't let him bring it up the court. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go to the corner and spot up. It's funny that yeah. you two played the same position. There's and then no Landry probably tonight. wouldn't pass it to me, and I would just stand in the yeah. corner. Landry was getting buckets, though. He was. He was, he was, he was killing. Landry Fields, Fields are referring to. Landry, God, you guys Landry a lot of NBA I'm sure, players. is watching right in now. Landry, yep. the Lopez's. Yep. Impressive. Yeah. Did you play with uh, Dwight at all? Was he a young boy when Powell? you were Yeah. He His first year was right after I left. Yeah. Yep. And I was playing at Cal during that time. Yeah. And, uh, playing or attending? Playing intramural. Okay. Like, you yeah. play intramural. It's a lot. I love lot intramural sports. Yeah. I played intramural flag football in college. Well, we it's and, oh, and perfect. Softball. You yeah. brought that up. Yeah. So we asked KD was here, and we asked him who would be the best and worst at football if we're doing yeah. like cross sports stuff. So he first says himself for QB and wide receiver. He thinks he can throw to himself. So that's first. But he goes, Clay, he goes, well, Clay could probably be a safety and – well, Clay's kind of lazy, so he can just kind of sit back there. No, and he said like, strong safety. I like the hit, said, though. Oh, he did say strong, strong safety. Yeah. Uh, free safety all day. Yeah. I'm just trying to intercept the ball. So I'm Kevin Durant, anybody. not a future NFL general manager? Yeah. Gosh, no. Is that? Okay. Yeah. So Fair. you're ready. Right. If he's not putting me at quarterback, it's a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's messed up. You can throw to him. He did say wide receiver. Do you well, want to Well, speaking ask? of uh, yeah. other sports, we're talking about sports. Yeah, sure. Uh, golf. Oh, yeah. Did you improve on your golf game this summer? Oh, yeah. Ten, tenfold. Uh Probably went from a 17 handicap to I'm about like a 13 right now. Okay. But you know what? I just go out there to have fun, guys, you know? Yeah, just make a couple birdies. Exactly. Might have so a couple eights. Maybe a birdie. I'll be happy with a birdie okay. a day. How far can you birdies? drive it? Uh, if I hit it real good, I can hit about 320. Consistently oh. like 260, 270. So 320 but is if big it's slice like a, to the right. a huge downhill. And the, and the wind is blowing out. I'm thinking out. I'm, I'm skying it 320 in the air. <laughs> okay. Might land a 350. Did you watch Tiger yesterday? I didn't, man. It I was, was fun. It was my last day of the off season. I heard it was great. Yeah. So I was just at the beach all day. It was kind of nice. Ooh, the beach all day. Oh, you know? Nice. I could use a little tan. Um, could use yeah, a little tan. I mean, yeah, you could. Yeah. So um, Sammy on here, it, I'll just put it this way. It's, it's four caps of Rocco. It says yeah. Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. Who do you think is more popular, Rocco or you? <laughs> Definitely the most popular canine in the NBA. Has to be. But it's probably, uh, God, it's probably like Clay 1A, yeah. Rocco 1B. Yeah. Not Do much you, separation. Are you surprised by this popularity, or does it just make sense to you? Nah, man, people love dogs. I love dogs. I've, Jordan Bell loves dogs. we got a lot of dogs on the team. And uh, Rocco's just got, a, he's got a funny personality, you know. He breathes hard. He, he uh, waddles around. He's just just lovable guy. Last question. You were in China and is it Cater? Qatar? Qatar. Qatar. Okay. Yep. Really? Cater? More fun? You thought it was going to be Cater? Cater, Qatar, Gosh, Cutter. Man, would I have more fun? Shoot. Yeah. Both offered their unique, unique things I could do over there. 
You've gotten good at this. Good politically correct answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have uh, to answer. This is your first media day? Dude, Come on. You don't have it's to like, answer. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Just get out. The hair is new, too, so I'm trying to adjust yeah, it, as it I, on the fly. How do you look? You look? Uh, <sighs> yeah, you look, uh, yeah, you look all right. I'll give you some one of my tips better about media the beard days. stuff. I yeah, really take up? some time on it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You, you check I'm looking at his. Yeah. <laughs> We're both a little patchy, a little patchy. in certain <laughs> spots. Don't put yourself. Yeah, in nah, the same you patchy right what here. I, like to see? Oh, I need yeah. a comb. Yeah. A little patchy right here. <laughs> um, but man, I don't know. China's always a dang fun time. Yeah. Qatar, I got to. I don't know. I got the freaking those outfits, kick a, man. Yeah, you like those? Yes. I got to kick around a soccer ball at a world class or a world cup, the world cup soccer field. So. That's pretty cool. So when I get to watch them in three years, I can say I was there doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Not the same level, but I tried. And Luke Walton did some good recruiting. Okay, he so tried. Uh, we out of here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clay, nice. we're allowing you to go. Thank Unless you. I just want to stay here the rest of the time. You know? Nah, I mean, I, know, uh, you know, I wouldn't you mind go. it. It's kind of nice. Cool you got a nice like backdraft from the, from the door over yeah. here. You got a nice, cool breeze. Yeah, no, it actually is nice. Clay, thank you so much for no joining problem. us. No problem. Thank you, guys. It. See you. It's going to be a long, good year. Yep. And we'll, we'll have you on the show, what, four, four more times? Five okay, more times? Probably never, but. Yeah, yeah I mean, say this your lucky day. He's but. honest. He's <laughs> honest. I honesty. respect the honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Um, let's uh, show a video now of the Clay Thompson Family Foundation uh, Golf Tournament. Oh, yeah. Let's he, do it. Clay loves golf. It's the inaugural Thompson Family Foundation Golf Tournament, and uh, we're putting this on to help raise funds so we can give back to the community, give back to kids through academics and through fitness here in the Bay Area, but also in the Bahamas and in the Los Angeles area too. You know, we've been uh, blessed and given so much as a family throughout the years. We just feel like it's our duty to give back. Just want to thank y'all for coming. The first. Thompson Family Foundation Golf Tournament. Thank you, Harding Park. It's good to know y'all be playing for second because I got the good guys on my team. So you can't lose my first tourney. And um, let's just have a great time today. It's going to be a good one and hit them straight. So good luck to everybody. The Thompson Family Foundation, they do great work investing in the youth. So it's cool to be able to come out here, center around a great cause, and, and play a game that we all love. It doesn't love us all back yet, though. Golf doesn't love me very much. What kind of golf game do you have, Clay? These guys that I played with here, short part four, these are the best guys to play with, but you know what, I'm learning a lot. This is what it's all about, raising some good money, having some golf, and uh, let's see what's out there. Oh, down, that's a lot of wrist action. This is going left now. I know Clay with his dad, Michael Thompson, he was always around fans, and getting the opportunity to give back to those people who cheer for you, I mean, it says a great deal about the character that he possessed, and then him just being a great person to walk. And Clay has a huge heart, his family has huge hearts, and they do so much to give back to communities. Clay's one of my homies, and I just figured I'd come out and support. If I can impact a few kids to a few hundred, uh, that's the goal of my life. You know, it's more important than any championship will win, any bucket will ever score, so it's just the beginning. Hope y'all be doing this for a long, long time. I love the Dubs and I love that squad, so thanks for coming out and supporting this, huh? And that's all I gotta say before a mic drop in. Everybody loves Team Thompson. <laughs> Welcome back to our Broadcast Warriors Live presented by Zoom. We're here at Media Day presented by Kaiser Permanente, and uh, we're here presented by Quinn Cook. That is uh, our new guest. We've had uh, Kevin Durant. We've had uh, Eunice Jarebko, yeah, by the way. Did you know that? How to pronounce his name, actually? Don't say I didn't. Jonas. I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 I mean, well, you'll be the first to know. I'm still not sure. Uh, I got to go back and listen to the tape yeah. for sure to get the exact pronunciation because it's... He had a little Swedish accent yeah. there, so it's kind of... Yeah. And then uh, Clay was just on, so at yeah. least you don't have to put up with a performance like <laughs> I did. You know, that's no big deal. Tell, Following Clay is tough. That's, that's a tough follow. Yeah, that is, that's a tough follow, that. for sure. Okay, so um, so let me see there. How does it feel to be a champion? It feels terrible. Yeah, okay. okay. It's terrible. Nah, it's, just, it's been the best summer of my life. Uh, ever since we won it, uh, the parade, I've been on cloud nine, but, uh, you know, I, I've been working extremely hard 
to uh, put myself in a position to contribute, you know, all season long, be a key contributor off the bench. And, uh, you know, when guys, you know, sit a game or uh, God forbid anybody gets hurt, you know, everybody has to be ready. So uh, I still have that in the back of my mind, just always being ready for to play four minutes, to play 20 minutes or play 45, 48 minutes. So uh, I want to get in that type of shape. So you mentioned the best summer of your life. I would have to imagine then that there was one specific moment that may be one of, if not the greatest moment of your life, and that was when you surprised your mom with that Range Rover. How cool was that? <laughs> uh, it was dope. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, it's something that I had planned to do it the summer of 2017, last summer, but I couldn't do it, uh, and uh, I was planning it all summer. And uh, to do it in front of all the campers at my camp was special. All the kids got to see it. Me and my sister, um, you know, drove up in it. And it was uh, something that, you know, I've never felt before because I've always wanted to do that for her. she let you drive it ever? She, I haven't dr driven it yet. Okay. I, have not, I don't even think she's got out of that car yet. <laughs> uh, she, she's driving yeah, around like, the country. Yeah, she's just, just never gets sleeping out. in it. Uh, she, she was very appreciative, yeah. which made me feel even better. Great. Grant, um, you should buy your mom a Range Rover. I mean, we're sponsored by a different, you know, group, so we can't do that. You know what I mean? Oh. We'll talk about it after. There you oh. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, Quinn, we asked KD this, and it was a really honest and truthful answer. Uh, what's your favorite episode of Warriors Outsiders? <laughs> this one. Yeah, that's what KD said. Okay, yeah. that was a good one. So, <laughs> uh, last year, I mean, at Summer League, we asked you who'd be your starting five for coaches playing basketball, like, on the court, who's your starting five. Uh, I remember your answer. This one, KD said Nick Uren would be starting at point guard, which is a surprising answer. We'll have to ask Nick about that. Has your mind changed at all? Is there, like, somebody that entered your mind as a starting five player from the coaching staff if he was going to play today? Well, well, i say Willie. Yeah, Willie. Willie's an obvious one, you know. I mean, Luke's, yeah. Luke's really good. There you go. Luke's really good. Uh, he Pretty much, I just wanted someone to say Luke. You know, yeah. that's, that's important. Luke asked Grant to ask a specific <laughs> question. Luke is really good, actually. Yeah. Luke is yeah. really good. Stay really good. Okay. So, cross sports, football, if one person who's the best player, who's the worst player, you can include yourself in this because some of the other players did too, in playing the game of football. The best player? I say Draymond. He tried to play a tight end at Michigan State. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, at Michigan State too, which yeah. is a, a high-level football. So Jordan uh, Bell played in high school a little bit too. I, I think. I, I say Draymond. I say Draymond. How about worst? Who's the tallest? I guess Damian. Damian. Here's the deal. I don't know how good Kevon Looney would be at football. Yeah, I don't you know. know. He's got the arms though for like a red zone target or something. True. Yeah. Very I true. I, I think we all could be pretty good at football. Yeah. Including us? <laughs> Did you yeah. say we all like us yeah, three? That, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. All 15 of us. And uh, everyone players, over here. Everybody yeah. right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you re uh, recently talked with uh, Mark Medina of the Bay Area News Group, and yeah. uh, one thing just blew me away. Uh, you gave up meat, all meats, fried food, yeah. and sugar this summer, yeah. right? Man. How did you do that? Um... It was easier than I thought. Really? Yeah. Um, my girlfriend, she's uh, really into nutrition. She's a, a, a trainer. So uh, we did it every day. She helped me with it. And uh, we had one cheap meal a week. So oh. we would wait till Sunday. Uh, and we would get burgers, fries, do all that stuff. But uh, it was easier, man. Uh, we were in Atlanta, and we had our go-tos. We had stuff that she would cook every day. And uh, it was easier than I thought it would be, and I felt a lot better. Okay. Yeah. What's uh, if you had to pick one? I know, I know, an overall team uh, goal would be win a championship. But if you had a personal goal this season, uh, starting out with the Warriors, you have a full NBA contract, you're with the team. What's a personal goal of yours? Um, not being cliche, uh, I want to be a, a key contributor all 82 games and, and all the games in playoffs. Um, I, I want to be a guy who comes in a game every single game. And, and, and the coaches, the teams, team, uh, everybody knows what I'm going to bring. Um, and I want to be consistent all year. Um, whether, like I said, if it's playing 10 minutes or playing 30 minutes, I, I want to be consistent all year. And I want to be a key contributor. Awesome. Like so we that. had you on our podcast this summer. 
Yeah. Uh, one question that I asked on the podcast, but for those of you who uh, didn't get a chance to listen to it yet, they'll listen later. They'll go subscribe, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, you had an opportunity possibly to test restricted free agency this past summer, but you decided to sign with the Warriors, and you didn't even think about that, right? Yeah. And, wh- and why? Why not? Um, I wanted to be here. I want to be here for as long as possible. I want to continue to be on this organization and learn as much as possible. Um, the stuff that I've learned, you know, in one year, and especially after All-Star break when I was up the entire time, you know, in those four months, I've learned so much from February to June. I just learned so much being around all these guys every single day, obviously getting to play on the biggest stage and uh, being a part of the playoffs, contributing in the playoffs. Um, so, you know, uh, when we had the conversation with my agent, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do anything to, to bring me back here. So uh, I didn't think about, ah, I can go probably get some money because I scored 30 points or I had some big games. Nah, I wanted to be here. I wanted to be with these guys, learn as much as possible, and being a part of this you know, special thing that we got going. I love that answer. That's great. And then just how about your assimilation to the Bay Area? Are you like, how's it feel to be? Because did you spend a lot of time out in the Bay listen, Area before? Listen, him? listen, listen. I just moved into my apartment. And this has been the first year when I haven't been like in hotels and living right, out of suitcase. Right. Like I, I, I put my stuff up in my closet. <laughs> That's and awesome. I, I, and I just feel so much better. And, and it, people don't understand how tough that is to go from room to room, living out of suitcase. You don't know where you're going to be at um, week to week, and, and knowing that I have some stability. Um, like I, I have. Uh, my best summer yet, just being productive, knowing where I was going to be at. Uh, it does a lot for your mind. You're not thinking about how other guys are playing or what can happen if somebody gets hurt. You just, just come to play basketball every day. And, yeah. and I was telling my mom, my mom just left. You no, know, we love the Bay. We love she. We love the area. It's so much different from where we're from. And uh, like I said, I didn't know about coming to Oakland. Like I, I knew it was going to be far from home and stuff like that last year when I was here. But when I got here, I fell in love with the city. Everybody's just so um, loving and so outspoken and so, you know, uh, all about the team, man. It means a lot. They give us so much love. So uh, I'm I'm living my dream. I'm, I'm, I can't complain about anything right now. I mean, now that he's settled here, he's got to, like, find the DMV. Yeah, and, like, that's a good point. Do you all that kind of stuff. <laughs> do you have someone else to do that for you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You're not far from home because you are home. This is mm. my home. That was and, emotional. And, and, that was my I, acting. I, I, I was with yeah. it. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> I was with you. I was yeah, with okay, you. I was not. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. This is Quinn Cook. Quinn, have a fantastic season. We're very excited to watch you throughout the season. And, uh We'll, uh, we'll definitely check in with you, and obviously you're going to be on our show at least 20 to 25 times this year. Correct. 40. <laughs> Correct. 40. So, yeah, exactly. 40. 40. 40. Nice. 40. Um, all right, and here's a video of Quinn Cook during the summer. I haven't worked this hard in the summer in my life because, you know, I know that you know, the work that I've been putting in has paid off. So I want to keep putting the same work in and even more. So, you know, I love leaving you know, my workout to gym knowing that, you know, I gave it all I had for that particular workout. I work with a lot of athletes, but what sets Quinn apart is his attitude. Definitely his attitude. You know, he's, he's always positive. And, and that shows why he's such a great point guard, because he uplifts his teammates. Same thing in his workouts. If he misses the shot, he might be a little upset, but he's gonna come back and make two in a row instead of just making one. So when I train Quinn, the goal of each workout is to fail. I wanna give him something so challenging that he has a reason to come back tomorrow. One thing that really impressed me about Quinn um, in his development is he always asks questions. He always is hungry to be better. I just fell in love with that process. I was told that in high school, I um, just to fall in love with the process of getting better. Pass a, a friend first before a trainer. You know, he pushed me, but he also gave me encouragement every single day. He told me that I was a good player. He told me to believe in myself. He told me I believe in you. He told me you can go to the NBA. I like to use the phrase, good players work out, great players outwork. He wants to make every shot, you know, and he's not going to leave until he gets it right. And, you know, it just it says a lot about him, his character on the court and, you know, where he is today.
right, welcome back here. Media Day presented by Kaiser Permanente, but we're here presented by Zoom. This is Warriors Live and fall is here, Drew. So you can stay warm, Dub Nation, with this special offer from the Warriors Team Store. Get 60% off. What? 60% off. Select Warriors Cold Weather Apparel from G3. This offer is only available while supplies last. Don't, it says like in caps, don't wait. Take advantage of the special team store offer online at warriorsteamstore.com. I'm going to buy it because I like deals. The whole thing was in caps. Um, yeah, but this one, it was like italicized. There was an exclamation point. There was an italicized, yeah. too. Yeah. And, you, know. you did a very good job reading that. Thank buddy. you so much. I really appreciate that. Drew, let's get to uh, some predictions. We had some questions yeah. here about this. Oh, so, hey, look at Steph. Look He's at Steph. flexing, showing off the tats. He's been working out a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, we'll have to tell him. Drew, what? How many wins do the Warriors get this year? Wow, how many wins for the Warriors this year? This was this was a low on the Steve Kerr era last season. Yes, but the reason the Warriors only only, only won fifty eight yeah. games last year is because of all of the injuries. I mean, that guy right there, Steph Curry, uh, missed the last what seventeen games. They, they could have like, used him. They were like seven and ten down yeah. the stretch. There were multiple games in which none of the four All-Stars were out there. Andre Iguodala rest uh, down the stretch a little bit as well. Like, they should, if they stay relatively healthy, walk into at least 60 wins. So, at least, yeah. Yes. If they stay healthy, yeah. So I'm going to say the way it all shakes out, I'll say 64. I'll say 64 wins. Now, the, the interesting thing about this Warriors team is in the past, They've always had stars across the board. They, you know, they have so many great players. But I feel like this team, with some youth, there might be that extra energy, even in yes, the games that might be, you know, uh, some games that might not give full effort for a lot of the other guys as they prepare for playoffs. And Grant's saying that the guys don't get full effort. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's sure. not what I'm saying. <laughs> so you know, with that, some of the young guys might bring that extra energy. Yes. And not only that, when DeMarcus Cousins is back, there's going to be games where they can say, hey, let's rest Steph, let's rest KD. Hey, DeMarcus, shoot 30 times. Yes. And he's going to be able to, and he's going to look good. So I think that's the, that's the deal. And I think uh, I'm going to go with, because they're going to rest some guys and, and you have to take into account other things could happen, I'm going to go with 65 to 67 wins. 65 to 67. So you gave yourself a little wiggle room because you have a sp I gave an exact number. What did Pick you a say? number. 60. I said 64. Were you not listening to <laughs> no, me? No, I really wasn't. 67. Okay. That's what I'm going to go with. Wow. 67. That's a lot. They've, they've, they've been known to get that uh, number every now and then. Yeah, they had that in 2014 15. Okay, how about this one? Twice. Draymond yeah. Green. Does he get Defensive Player of the Year or on all defensive team? Look at the trophies, by the way. That That's for the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, three just of in them. case there's fans that can't remember. If, like, if a fan was in a coma for the last four years and they wake up now, and they saw that, they might still think they're in a coma. Yeah. First and foremost, I would say congratulations at getting out of the coma. Yeah, by the way, huge that medical be, marvel. That would be big. That getting would be out terrific. of a coma after four years is huge. So that congratulations. Be, Season ticket wonderful. holder. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So is Draymond going to be Defensive Player of the Year? Um, I'm going to say that he falls short, but that he will be first team Bull all defense. Bulletin he, board material. Why do you think I'm doing this? I don't know. He was not for, By the way, how, how insane is that, that he was not first team all defense last year? I mean... I'll give I'll give them credit. The people they picked were really good defenders. Correct. But the, the two fact forwards, that Draymond Green. Was I know on. the two forwards who were voted first team: Robert Covington, Anthony Davis. Both were deserving. Yeah. Uh, Rudy Gobert was the first team uh, All Defense center, but then Draymond basically showed Anthony Davis in the playoffs. Um, I'm yeah. the best defender in the league, probably overall, when yeah. I want to be every single night. So, right. uh, I'm looking forward to watching Draymond during this regular season. Last year, you know, I mean, he he admitted he was not. The gas was not full all last regular season. He was pacing himself a little bit. He was dealing with some injuries. Now, this year, there are some contractual things that yes. may motivate Draymond a little bit more during the regular season. So Same with Clay. Same, same with, with Clay, yeah. exactly. So, same with Jordan Bell. Right. So, yeah, exactly. it's, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be an interesting one. How about, what do you think, MVP? Do, uh, do Steph Curry or Kevin Durant have a chance at MVP, or is there just, is there just too much uh, Warriors, let's say, bias where they fatigue kind of, oh yeah but I think, yeah i guess for voters they look at a warriors team and go there's too many stars there they can't be an mvp over there uh steph and kd absolutely have a chance to to win the mvp I agree. Uh, if the warriors win mid 60s if they both are 
for the most part fully healthy and play 77 games or so, uh, absolutely. They'll both yeah. probably be right there in the top five and, ha and have a chance. Uh, a guy like Steph last year, he only played in 50 games. Yeah. And, and that's something that, uh, that Warriors fans, um, uh, well, I'm sure they actually probably realized that because there were so many games where he was right. out and the team was losing. Right. But uh, let's just hope that Steph stays healthy, that the team uh, stays fully healthy because uh, – with Demarcus Cousins, man, it, like this is something that the world has not seen. Like yeah. for real, those and, five together. And again, this is most likely Demarcus Cousins' only season with Warriors. Correct. Course. So definitely enjoy it. And, I, and we've seen him, and he's having a great day so far. And he seems happy to be here. Yep. I yeah. think I just was he on the thing right there? No. Uh, I saw I saw Andre walk by just a second ago. Oh. Look at Jordan Bell. Hey, there's Jordan. Looking serious. Yeah. Yeah, Pablo is scaring him. He's asking, asking him some asking tough, the questions. tough questions. Those are the hard-hitting questions. We don't ask those hard-hitting questions on here. I think he's actually telling him right now to say, you're listening to the Warriors Outsiders podcast. <laughs> I'm that, Jordan Bell. Is that you doing a plug That's what right he's now? Saying. Yeah. Um, well, we want to say a big thank you to Zoom yep. uh, for this broadcast. It's been a lot of fun. For those of you joining us on Zoom or Facebook Live, thank you very much. And then also... Zoom video communications, and I do want to relay this. This is very important. It gives you flawless video, and, and I'll tell you why I'm saying this. It gives you crystal clear audio and uh, instant wireless sharing across any mobile device, desktop, or conference room. And why am I saying that? First of all, this is a Zoom broadcast. That's why. Number two, <laughs> we actually just used it for Correct. the first time, unrelated to this, and it was awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. I see yeah. the ads at the BART. I, love, I take BART all the time. You don't, really. Okay. Uh, all right, everyone. So thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we have a nice video to uh, send you on your way from Drew, from myself. Thank you. championship so it's a special year for sure. Celebration tonight here in Oakland. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again back to back.